actually met him in the sixth grade, and one time I got mad at him because he was arguing a touchdown that I made, and I threw the football at him really hard, which looking back now I should have done, and he said, if you weren't a girl, I'd hit you so hard right now. After that, I like apologized to him, and we've just been friends ever since then. Probably between like eighth and ninth grade year, I would like hang out with her at her house or whatever. We kind of end the date by we'd go outside and just kind of say our goodbyes. And so when we were outside on our porch, I was really nervous to say it, but I said, I love you. I think her, her response was, thank you. <laughs> I just think like he is so kind. I mean obviously he's handsome and he's all of the outside characteristics that I want and am looking for but comparison wise I mean even during the times when we had like broken up a little bit in high school like I would compare everyone to him and I always wanted it to be him. Alexa Victoria, take you, Trace Joseph, to be my bridegroom from this day forward. I promise to always be your best friend, be your encourager, be your supporter, and be the best teammate I can be. I promise to pray with you and for you, to grow with you, to help you find joy in life's heartaches, and to solely trust God as the anchor of our marriage. I love you from afar, I love you near, I will always love you anywhere. I vow to love your family as my own and recognize that this covenant is truly a gift from God that I promise I will never break. I am absolutely honored to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Trace Joseph Wilkinson and you buddy can kiss the bride. Yay! Most of you guys here today know Trace is a quiet, shy, gentle human. In fact, he uh, once had his third grade teacher call her mom because she hadn't heard Trace say a word in three months. And, uh, yeah, true story. But today I want you to know I can't thank you enough for just being you. I'm proud to be your brother, and no matter the distance between us, I will always be there for you and Alexa. And like we always used to say, clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. I love you, man. Before I toast the bride and groom, I have a little something I put together that I would like to read to you as my own tribute to my beautiful daughter. And in the 11th year of marriage, God looked down on his plan paradise and said, it's not good for that had your mother and daddy and those two brothers to be alone. So God made Alexa. I need someone willing to get up for school without prodding, work all day at school, play sports, be in a student government, and volunteer, and then come home, eat supper, and work past midnight on homework without prompting, and then get up and do it all again the next day. And who, when the going gets tough, will finish her 40-hour week it by Wednesday, then week from exhaustion, put in another 24 or more in the days that follow. So God made Alexa. It is for these reasons and many more that I'm so glad that God made Alexa. Hello, baby. Alexa and I have been besties since like 1842, roughly, but you know, I'm not the one who knows how to count or do math in this friendship, so I could be wrong. Alexa, thank you for being the Leslie to my Anne, for letting me be your maid of honor, and for becoming a sister. Trace, thank you for always putting up with our crazy shenanigans, being kind to all of Alexa's friends, and above all, Thank you for loving my friend the way she deserves to be loved.